Uh, I'll be saying some comedy words for you. Uh, some of the words are adult words. And by adult words, I mean swearing. I don't mean like mortgage. <laughs> or fiduciary. <laughs> if you need an extra swear word though, fiduciary is a great one. <laughs> you son of a fiduciary. Uh, so I want to tell you a little bit about myself. I'm originally from Minnesota. By applause, how many people are aware that Minnesota exists? <laughs> Minnesota, but my personal favorite thing about Minnesota is that the educational video game Oregon Trail was actually invented in Minnesota. Yes, that is a huge source of pride. Because that is a video game that is all about leaving Minnesota. It's a video game about people who are so desperate to leave Minnesota they would rather die of dysentery. <laughs> About a year and a half ago, I didn't leave Minnesota. I moved to Los Angeles. I didn't get any dysentery at all, which was great. Uh, and just a few months ago, I experienced my first earthquake. I was sitting alone on my bed, and then the earth moved. So it was kind of romantic. But not really. I wasn't even sure if it was actually an earthquake, so I decided to check Twitter. And the first tweet I saw was not from a news agency. It wasn't from a geological service. The first tweet I saw was from William Shatner. Wow. <laughs> he had just typed one word in all caps. EARTHQUAKE! <laughs> and I thought if there's one person who knows the difference between real shaking and fake shaking, <laughs> it is Captain Motherfucking Kirk. <laughs> so uh, I spent a lot of time on Twitter. I would say in the average 24-hour period, I spent about 72 hours just staring <laughs> at Twitter. It's great because you can get jokes, you can read socio-political commentary, and you can find out what your friends are doing when they're not answering your emails. <laughs> I have watched friends live tweet blowing me off. <laughs> there was a day I needed desperately an important business answer from a friend who would not answer his email, and I looked on his Twitter and he had tweeted, I have literally nothing important to do today. <laughs> You might as well have added the hashtag, screw you, Joseph Scrimshaw. <laughs> uh, my Twitter handle is at Joseph Scrimshaw. So if you enjoy my set, by all means, find me on Twitter, send me a nice tweet, and then add the hashtag, screw you, Joseph Scrimshaw. <laughs> I will feel loved, and the rest of Twitter will just be frightened and confused. Uh, you'll notice that my Twitter handle is Joseph, not Joe. Over the years, I've come to really prefer Joseph to Joe, because as I look around, Joes are usually different from Josephs. Joes are usually big, strong guys who lift weights and understand what a first down is. <laughs> Joseph collects action figures and couldn't get through two minutes of stand-up without saying the word socio-political. <laughs> Joe likes to cook raw steaks on the hoods of old muscle cars. <laughs> Joseph drives a Toyota Yaris and is pretty sure he's a Hufflepuff. <laughs> Thank you. It's always nice when the Hufflepuffs are flawed because normally we're shy. It's great. Uh, and I, I know what I am. I'm a Joseph. I'm a Hufflepuff. I'm trying to be more okay with just being myself and not worrying what anyone else thinks. That's very hard to do. But recently I found a new role model for that. And my role model is restaurant websites. <laughs> restaurant websites don't give a shit what anyone thinks. They're like, oh, did, did you come here looking for basic information? Like our location? <laughs> or our hours? <laughs> Fuck you, here's a picture of our patio. <laughs> oh, you want to know if there are vegetarian options? Okay, well you can hit this button to download a PDF the PDF is 800 megabytes for some reason. <laughs> and also, when you hit that button, a Coldplay song just automatically plays. <laughs> There's nothing you can do to stop it, and I don't give a shit because I have a restaurant website. <laughs> so I'm trying to be more like that. I'm trying to internalize that. So for the rest of my set, I'm only going to talk about the two things that have really been on my mind a lot. They're very important to me. And those two things are Star Wars. Yeah. It's always interesting to 
see which one gets a bigger applause. <laughs> it changes from show to show, but you guys are about equal. That's great. Um, just in case anyone doesn't know what either of those things are, I will define <laughs> them for you. Uh, Star Wars is a series of movies, books, video games, etc. that tells the story of a bunch of space wizards who keep cutting each other's arms off with laser swords. <laughs> dominant presence in our cultural landscape for like 40 years, even though we all pretty much agree only one of the movies is actually good. <laughs> and now on to the less controversial topic. <laughs> basic human equality, and for some reason that pisses a lot of people <laughs> off. I get insulted on the internet, people call me an SJW or a social justice warrior, and uh, I think that is a great insult if you don't know what the word social justice or warrior actually mean. <laughs> and I realize it's supposed to be said sarcastically, it's supposed to be said with like air quotes or, or a jerking off gesture, or, or air quotes jerking off, whatever that would look like. <laughs> It's just a T-Rex masturbating. <laughs> I apologize for that. I shouldn't have done that. So I feel like if you're going to take the time to insult someone, you should at least come up with an insult that sounds nasty and visceral. So I wrote a blog post suggesting some alternatives to Social Justice Warrior. I suggested that they could call people a freedom tool, <laughs> an equality head, a decency hole, <laughs> Mr. Thinks Women Are People Too guy. <laughs> and this blog post pissed a lot of people off. I got a lot of hate mail back. One person said, you can't be a social justice warrior because social justice is just a concept and you can't fight for a concept. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's going to come as a huge shock to things like democracy and religion. <laughs> was from someone claiming to be a famous person. And the famous person they were claiming to be was Joey Fatone from the boy band NSYNC. <laughs> and as soon as I got that email, I was intrigued. So, so I emailed back right away and said, are, are you the real Joey Fatone? And sadly, the person didn't answer. So I'll never know if it was or was not Joey Fatone. So basically, I got hate mail from Schrodinger's Joey Fatone. <laughs> The hate mail that Schrodinger's Joey Fatone left me was this. You are not funny. Instead, you're a piece of shit. <laughs> and I was very, very offended. Because as a comedian, I know being funny and being a piece of shit are not mutually exclusive. <laughs> at all. So you know someone else who is funny and also kind of a piece of shit? Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> Obi-Wan Kenobi is my favorite Star Wars character. He is calm and wise and kind of a grumpy old asshole. <laughs> he is everything that I want to be when I grow up. <laughs> and my favorite line of Obi-Wan Kenobi dialogue is when he describes the cantina to Luke and he says, You will never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. And it is a great line. But when you really think about it, it's also a very harsh Yelp review. <laughs> The cantina is just not that bad of a place. It's clean, it's well lit, the music is great. You can cut people's arms off and no one gives a shit. It makes me think that Obi-Wan would go around the internet leaving hateful comments about everything. Chipotle. A hideous den of incompetence and cilantro. Ikea. A twisted maze of cheap wood and shitty meatballs. <laughs> Radio Shack. Actually, I like Radio Shack. <laughs> I got a little USB adapter for my lightsaber dongle there. <laughs> I shouldn't have had Obi-Wan Kenobi say the word dongle. It's, it's not fair to Obi-Wan. He chooses his words very carefully. You will never hear him saying like insulting gender-based phrases. He doesn't try to teach Luke to use the force by saying things like, calm your mind, search your feelings, grow a pair of balls, Skywalker! <laughs> it's never anything like that. I've always hated the phrase, grow some balls, because one, it seems sexist to imply that strength only comes from a male body part, and two, 
it's dumb to suggest that strength comes from the weakest, most vulnerable <laughs> part. Camera pans in. <laughs> that doesn't happen. There are no dick 
depicts in Jane Austen novels. There's no Jane Austen novel that starts with the sentence, it is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of a good fortune must be in want of a master artist to paint a portrait of his cock. No Jane Austen novel begins that way, not even the weird ones with zombies in them. Star Wars happened a long time ago, and there are no dick pics in Star Wars. There's no scene where Admiral Piet marches onto the bridge of the Star Destroyer and says, Lord Vader, there's an important transmission from the Emperor. <laughs> Vader goes into his little private chamber and goes down on one knee. What is thy bidding? My oh, come on! <laughs> Not young. 
I think there are only three ages in America. There's not as old as you want to be, 25, <laughs> and might as well be dead. <laughs> 30, 40 years old, they're just like, why? What's the point of even going on? And I think the point is, you have over half your life left. It's like life is this delicious pizza that's been cut into eight slices, and we eat the first two pieces, and they're fresh and hot and delicious. And then we take one small bite of the third piece, and it is slightly cooler. So we rage flip the table, and just start screaming and crying, I don't even want to eat the rest of this pizza! What's the point? It's never going to be as good as those first two pieces. I guess I'll finish it, but I'm not going to like it. Sit here on gnawing this cold shit pizza, and read BuzzFeed lists about how great the 90s were. Some of us are young, some of us have balls, some of us don't, some of us may or may not be Joey Fatone. <laughs> the important thing is we're all just different people with different strong opinions about Star Wars, and I think that's awesome. Thank you very much. That's my Because that's what I want to present myself to the world as, as a literate alcoholic.